demonstration is on the assembly for a wind turbine. To be successful with this, you're going to be needing uh, the nose pieces uh, with the two adapters for a fixed blade. We're using three fixed small blades or short blades, and they're going to fit in the bottom half of the adapter of the nose piece. So you need those three short blades. Then you're going to run the last two uh, runs of your data with a long blade. You can see it's more um, it's more narrow, it's more pointed, and obviously longer. So we're going to set off to the side for a moment and concentrate on the three short blades that you'll be installing at first. Same procedure can be used um, from the for the short blades as well as the long blades. So we're going to get the bottom piece of the uh, nose, and then what we're going to do is run the bottom half of the adapter and affix each of the blades to one of those pegs and you're going to basically um, put it right in that peg and then rotate it so that you skip a space and now what you're going to do is it is the straight side up place it and snap it uh, in place where the peg is skip a, a spot and then put it again in the um, the open space again straight side up there we go it fits in pretty nicely now what we're going to do is take the upper half of the adapter and you'll notice it's stepped to fit into the bottom piece very nicely and you want to kind of snap it into place. Uh, unfortunately I've just knocked off one of the blades so let's see if I can actually follow my own rules and make sure that the straight side is up. Come on Jerry, you can do this. Rotate it around if you would. There you go. Straight side up. Yeah, there you go. Now that's better. Now what you're going to do is take that upper portion and again, you're waiting for it to snap. There we go. Now what we're going to do is going to take the compressor, the compressing nut, and we're going to screw it right down on top of the adapter so we'll get nice even pressure so the blade stays still. And of course, it's fixed by the angle that's already in the adapter, um, so it can't be changed. Then we take, uh, take the final cap of the nose piece, Twist it on there just finger tight, not any tighter than that, so it doesn't bind. So that's what it looks like. So let's take a look. In contrast, there is the long bladed uh, nose piece. Same nose piece, just take out the uh, blades and install the long one. This is what the turbine looks. Uh, the turbine looks like. Um, and then, of course, there is the, the the nacelle where all the gears are, and there is the uh, the axle. We're going to put the nose piece in the axle by kind of working it back and forth a little bit. There we go, the short bladed one. And we're going to go ahead and put that right on the axle until you have just the right clearance. There you go. And now I'm going to turn on the fan to high. That's where we always start. And as I do that, sometimes you have to give it a little nudge. And then once you give it a nudge, it'll start spinning all by itself. There we go. And I like to run for about a minute or so just so it gets up to speed and kind of it stays at a steady pace before I actually take data. Now let's take a look at by taking off the short blade, let's put on the long blade and kind of compare the two on how well they run. Now your job was again get it to the same place, turn on the fan on high and it'll start spinning. Now you get to be the judge. Which one's more produces more electricity? Short blade? or the long blade. Well, thank you very much. We'll see you in the lab.